Hi Copic in the Craft Room friends. This is Michelle Houghton as usual. I am here with a stamp or two stamps from Rubber Moon. I used to design um, for that group and I have reconnected with them and they are going to be supporting Copic Colleges this year and I am thrilled about that but I wanted to show off some of their beautiful stamps. A lot of the stamps you get from Rubber Moon are still wood mounted and some of them come as just the rubber so they have a couple different options. This particular one is one of their famous, what they're famous for. It's a moon image, and then they also have some words that wrap around that moon. Um, a song that I grew up singing, and I will not sing it for you now, but I see the moon and the moon sees me. So it's a very familiar feel to me. So I've stamped the moon in a very light pink ink, memento and um, then I did the same in a uh, black memento ink and I am coloring on one of those little inchy squares now I've done this before and we had a lot of questions about where I've gotten them these are old from my stash what they are is matte board it is an archival matte board that has been chopped down into these little inch and a half squares or two inch squares three inch squares and a company mass produced them and marketed them for coloring. You can buy matte board yourself and create these little squares. You want something that's archival and a little bit higher quality, but the blending on them is beautiful. So it's just an option, another surface you can color on. So I've done the background here with a B97, and now I'm coming in with a B two, four. You're also going to see a B one, two, and then a B double zero for that background color. And it's going to come right up and over the words. And it's also going to come around those little kind of bands and rings around the moon's face. Now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add a little bit of detail on the moon's face before I color it. I found one of my multi-liners. This one is actually a gray one and it's 0.3. I wish I had a little smaller, but it's the only gray one I have. And the colors don't come in all the different sizes. 
Now what I'm trying to hit is the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the eyebrows, and that's it. So those are the only pieces I'm going to go over with this gray multi-liner. I decided to darken up the sky just a little bit so I'm bringing that B12 in against the moon and bringing that B24 a little closer in and then I'm going to work on the moon face itself. This is also giving me a chance to let that ink from the multi-liner liner dry completely. The group of markers you're going to see me use on the face is a W1 and W3 those warm grays. Then I use a little bit of Y00 and I also use a little bit of Colorless Blender. And I'll tell you a little bit more about how I'm feeling about the end results when I get closer to it. So next I want to go back in and find those rings and the stars that are around the moon. So I'm using a Posca, P-O-S-C-A, um, opaque white pen. This one is a very fine tip. Um, let me see if I can see what it actually says. It's a 0.7 millimeter and this one to me, and it's a Uni Posca, U-N-I-P-O-S-C-A. Um, this is kind of my newer go-to since the Sharpie no longer has those water-based um, opaque markers. I still have old ones of those, but this is my new go-to kind of white opaque pen. So I'm going over those rings and hitting those little stars just to add that bright white back into this image.
All right, so for the most part, I'm just finishing this up. I really do like how this turned out. I feel like the moon ended up looking a little like a camouflage pattern versus the moon by adding that yellow. I wanted the yellow as part of the glow and I think it would have been better if I had done something a little bit different with the sky behind having that yellow in it versus on the moon itself. But I can do it again. I obviously, ha I obviously have a second one stamped and I can do that here eventually. Thank you so much Rubber Moon for being a part of Copic College for the 2020 season and I wish you all the best. If you have any questions about what I've done today or any questions Copic related, make sure to add those in the comments section below. Everybody have a happy, colorful day.